Crossroads Mall was a shopping mall in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma that opened in 1974 and closed in 2017. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around to the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for my latest mall video, defunct store, occasional throwback Thursday or soda history. Leave a suggestion about a future video or memories of this mall. Thanks. The construction of the enclosed air-conditioned two-level 1.2 million square foot mall was at one time considered one of the largest construction projects ever in Oklahoma. At the time of its opening, it was among the 10 largest shopping malls in the United States. It was initially known as the Plaza Mayor at the Crossroads, but would be shortened to Crossroads Mall because it lies at the major intersection of I-35 and I-240 just to the east of the heart of South Oklahoma City. The Crossroads Mall opened on February 17, 1974 with anchor stores John A. Brown, Dillard's, Montgomery Ward, and J.C. Penney. The new mall provided a much needed shopping destination for residents in that area, while drawing visitors from not just the metro, but also across the state. The mall once offered a unique shopping experience for tourists and locals alike, featuring a diverse range of stores, dining options and entertainment facilities such as movie theaters, and other places like Farrell's Ice Cream Shop, Orange Julius, The Varsity Shop, Orbach's Men's Fashions, the Record Bar, Tom McCann's, Wicks and Sticks, B. Dalton, Baskin Robbins, and Hickory Farms. The mall initially thrived during the 1980s and early 1990s, drawing shoppers from far and wide with its engaging atmosphere and mix of nationally recognized stores. You may remember that the parking lot is where everyone learned to drive. Only the best and busiest stores had locations in the mall. In 1984, John A. Brown Department Store closed. In May of 1985, a 150,000 square foot Sanger Harris opened in the vacant John A. Brown building. In 1986, Sanger Harris would close and it would reopen as Foley's. In 1991, Orbach's Men's Store would close its doors, but the area's demographics shifted and the mall began to go into decline by the mid-1990s. Competition from other malls such as Quail Springs and Penn Square across town took business away from them. It was also coupled with the fact that the mall ownership didn't do any major renovations to keep it updated, causing the mall to look outdated and run down. One customer once said, Crossroads Mall is outdated and has not been significantly renovated in decades, either despite touting a major renovation, which basically meant new paint and light fixtures and nothing else, every now and then. Crossroads Mall was also situated in an area of increased gang activity, which led to an increase in crime and safety issues. At its peak, the mall had over 125 stores. In 2001, Montgomery Wards closed. Stephen Berry's would occupy the vacant building. By the mid-2000s, stores such as Shelley Wong's Things Cool Stuff in Your Choice Rug Design, Eye Masters, Finish Line, Journeys, 
Champ Sports, Victoria's Secret, Fredericks of Hollywood, Zales Jewelers, Regis, The Laughing Fish, Eastern Treasures, La Patricia Hat World, Claire's, Touchtel Wireless, 579, GameStop, Chinex, Hotspot Pizza, Sam's Optical, Bath and Body Works, and Rue 21 could all be found at this mall. Shortly after this time, a lot of stores relocated to Oklahoma City's other shopping malls, and this had become a serious problem because this was probably a failed attempt to bring back everything the mall had from the start. On May 27, 2006, a young suspect opened fire on police, injuring a teen before the man was shot and killed by an off-duty sheriff's deputy. Also that same year, Foley's closed. It would be reopened and rebranded as Macy's. In 2007, J.C. Penney closed. In 2008, Macy's would close. In October, Dillard's closed. And two months later, Steve and Barry's closed. The property was foreclosed upon in April of 2009, and it fell under the ownership of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York due to Bear Stearns bailout. Crossroads Mall was 75% vacant. On September 14, 2011, the mall was purchased by Raptor Properties LLC for $3.5 million, far below the $24 million asking price, although the sale only included 762,000 square feet as several other parts of the property were previously sold to other investors. On April 24, 2013, Raptor Properties announced plans to rebrand the Crossroads Mall. Renamed the mall would be Plaza Mayor at the Crossroads. They also announced future renovations that would also have included space for a grocery store, a nightclub, and a rodeo arena seating 3,500 spectators. The mall's entrances and bathrooms would have also been remodeled and the carousel moved to make way for a new stage and entertainment area, complete with $100,000 worth of new sound and lighting equipment. These plans were never fully realized. A simple banner told visitors the site has been suspended and directing the customer to check their email, possibly indicating another abandonment of work in the area. Before the mall's closure, the mall contained approximately 36 stores and services, as well as a large trade zone outside of the mall building with multiple retailers and restaurants, including two hotels and a movie theater. On September 29, 2017, CRM Properties announced that they abandoned plans to rehabilitate the mall and would close it permanently on October 31, 2017. In July of 2023, Crossroads Mall announced that it was adding a 270,000 square foot convention center. As renovations are underway, mall officials hope to bring the property back to life. There have been some recent hope for the mall, but there were broken promises and developments like the Oklahoma City Wranglers football team that would have called the Crossroads Mall home. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot, shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer is eight, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. So what do you remember about this mall? Leave a comment or some more details that I may have missed or maybe even a suggestion for a future mall video you would like to see. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C Productions. Thanks for watching.